Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. So today I'm going to talk about Think Well Math 8. So that is their pre-algebra program. This is the first year that we use Think Well Math and my currently seventh grade daughter was the one using this math program. I did want to wait until the end of the year just so we could give a really good full review of the program and how it went for her. And so that's what I'm sharing with you today. Before I get too far into this, I do want to let you know that this program was gifted to us to use in exchange for our honest review. And I'm definitely going to be sharing the positives as well as some of the negatives that we found while using this program. So first of all, Think Well Math is an online math program. So I will be turning you around and showing you a computer screen and showing you inside of my daughter's course. And then I'm going to come back and show you some of the paper aspects of it and give you sort of more of how it went for us this school year. So let's go ahead and get started on just a look at Think Well Math inside of my daughter's account. And then I'll see you back here to just talk about how things went for us. Okay, so here we are looking at the inside of my daughter's course. So grade eight pre-algebra. And these are the units that they go through. So they have principles of algebra, rational numbers, introduction to graphs, functions, and sequences, exponents and roots, proportionality and measurement, foundations of geometry, perimeter, area, and volume, data and statistics, probability, and then multi-step equations and inequities. And so let's just go into one of these here. Let's look at principles of algebra. So here is what is within one of the units. So it has some subsections here. Generally, you're doing one of these lessons a day, and then they have review. Uh, they have the review answer worksheet answer key. So obviously that just goes with that. And then they have the quiz. So you have like this many lessons, about what, five or six lessons. And then you have a review and a quiz, four or five lessons here, review and a quiz, and then about four or five lessons here review and a quiz, and then we have the quiz for the whole unit, and then the practice test and the test. All right, so this is just going to make, basically have the lessons there. So if you look here, it's really just taking you inside of these five lessons. So if I click on that, so that means there's about five lessons here. They do have a schedule in here somewhere, and they might give you two days to do one of these lessons if it's a longer lesson. So let's look at here. All right, so this would be what she would have done in one day. So watch a lecture, example one, watch lecture two. So this one's two minutes, this one's one minute and 54 seconds. It gives you the notes. And this is something that you could print off if you wanted to, or you can purchase the notes so you don't have to print those off. And then they have online exercises. So there's nine questions to do that go along with the lesson. And then down here is some additional things. So we have a topic worksheet, topic answer, worksheet answer key. So additional work to do. And actually she did these as well. So we did all of the questions. So she did this as well. We had books printed up with these in it as well. And I had the answer keys. And then I'm not sure, this is sort of a game and we did not do these games. So. There are some games that are linked here as well, or some just extra practice. We didn't do that. All right, so let's go back to the course home. So let's just look at percent. So it's pretty much similar. We go into here, we have four lessons, and it shows you how much that she watched. It looks like she wasn't watching all of the videos, which might explain a little bit. Um, so then we have the notes. I think she prefers to just look at the notes. And then we have the nine exercise questions. So they pop up one at a time and you answer the questions. And then we have the topic worksheet, which she generally was doing this. This is what she was doing. She was filling these out. And then she was actually checking it over with the answer key. Okay, so that's basically what is in this course for pre-algebra. We have a chapter checklist here. So it kind of shows you what they did. Did they watch the lesson? Did they do the document? So just a checklist here. 
We have a video list here, so all the videos. So you can see what portions of the videos your student watched. Not sure what animations is. Okay, resources. So here's the lesson plan. So you can go in here and they'll break it up for you, let you know how long, sort of a pacing guide. And they basically give you a checklist here. So you could print this off and give it to your child. So every day they know what to do, when to take the tests and how long to practice for the tests. Office hours, you can pay for additional tutoring. So I believe that's what that would link you to. Uh, and then we just have like graph paper. So if you need a graph paper, you can print it off there. Symbols and formulas. So just a little cheat sheet. <laughs> I didn't look at this. This would actually have been probably a little bit helpful to have. So definitely go in here and look around. Uh, standards objectives. All right, so they just have a lot of information in here if you are interested in finding more information. And then just a bunch of links so they can practice their skills in here. So there are some extra resources. We have a glossary. So if you're not sure on what something means, you can look it up. We have assessments. I'm not going to scroll through that. It will show her marks and stuff. So it tells you how many times they took it and what percentage they got when they took it. Most recent activity, she was working on quiz 8-1, perimeter and area. Contact section here. All right. And then if you want the printed copy of the worksheets, they have a place to buy it here. And then this shows you when your subscription expires and you can purchase an extension. Let's see how that works. All right. Let's see. Buy extension. So you can, ex so you get a year and if you want more time, it is $19.95 a month for extending the course. So that is what the inside of ThinkWell Math looks like. So that was a look inside of my daughter's ThinkWell account. Before I get to my review and how things worked with us, I do want to show you a few other things, some physical things here. So ThinkWell Math did give us this program in exchange for our honest review. So they sent us the grade eight or eighth grade pre-algebra math notes. So this is a big fat book that has all of the notes that you can print off from the online course. So you can purchase this separately if you want to have it pre-printed. So they sent me this and this was definitely helpful in trying to help my daughter because I wasn't watching the videos. So I could look at these and try to figure out how to answer the problems. Additionally, they also sent me the worksheets. So this is also part of that additional purchase. However, you can print them off. So I have an A and a B because they were just very thick. And so these are the worksheets that my daughter filled out. So each day is usually about a page like this, sometimes two, unless it was a review day. In review days, they had like four or five pages. So my daughter did a lot. I needed her to be writing things out. So these are the worksheets that I don't think are absolutely necessary. They have online questions, but then they also have these worksheets that they can do. And that is with the online program. You just have to print them off if you don't buy the worksheets. And then I had the answer keys as well. So this was super helpful because I was having to help my daughter quite a bit with this program. So then we have the answer keys. Now, while I'm talking about the answer keys, I do want to say that one frustration that I had with this course was that it wasn't always easy to find the answer key section for the section of worksheets she was doing. We used a sticky note and we had to kind of flip around sometimes. So it's not entirely super clear sometimes on what I need to be looking at as far as marking her work. So that would be something that I would suggest Think Well Math takes into account maybe in the future on maybe fixing their answer key and just making it a little simpler for the parent to be able to find the answer page that goes along with the student activities. And now as far as what we thought of it and how things went for us this year. So first of all, I picked this program because I really liked the example videos that I saw and true to that, my daughter did enjoy the video aspect of this online program. 
So Mr. Berger, I believe is the teacher and he's sort of funny, a little goofy, and the videos are not crazy long and that is a must for this daughter in particular. She doesn't like long drawn out explanations. She wants things quick and to the point. And so these videos definitely did that. As far as the work that was involved or the work that was asked, I think in general, it was pretty reasonable. Most days were fine. She did have an issue when it came to review days because suddenly on review days, there was an exponential number of pages expected. So like for example, on a regular day, it might be one or two pages of activities or work to do. But then on a review day, it could be four, it could be five, it could be, I don't know, if it was six pages sometimes. So she got really frustrated when it came to those review days. Of course, you can always plan out your schedule a little differently. We did generally follow the suggested schedule and the suggested schedule did tell you to do those in one day. You could also decide on which items you wanted your kids to do and which ones you didn't. In doing this course, my daughter did need to do all of the examples. So just to tell you a bit about this daughter, she does pick things up pretty quickly. She is working about one grade level above in math. However, I wouldn't call her a mathy student or someone who really loves math. She tolerates math and math is something that she just does to get done. So in looking for a math program this year, I was looking for short videos which Thinkwell Math had, um, interesting videos, which they had. And I knew that Thinkwell Math was a more challenging math program, but I have to say it was a bit too challenging for my daughter in this instance. So if you have a mathy student who really enjoys math, I do recommend Thinkwell Math. I really like the way it's laid out. I like the structure of it. I like the way they did things. And if you have a child who picks things up super easily and also loves math and maybe picks up those mathematical concepts up more easily, I think that Thinkwell Math is a great math program for them. If you have a student who doesn't love math and maybe math concepts don't come to them quite as easily, then I would suggest you don't go with Thinkwell Math. So as far as how far we got in Thinkwell Math, I'm going to say that we got through the first half of it with little difficulty. So the first half of it, we did good. It went as planned. The explanations were going well enough for her. She didn't need a lot of help from me. At about that halfway mark, things started to kind of fall apart a little bit. She was coming out and asking me a lot of questions. We were trying to work on a lot of the examples together. I was definitely way more involved in math than I like to be as far as math curriculums with my kids. Uh, I think it comes down to maybe some of the video examples were not as detailed as the examples that they wanted them to be able to solve in the future or in the activities. So maybe they were doing more simple examples and then they were expecting the child to be able to take some leaps and be able to solve more complicated examples than what they showed. So for a while there, we kind of struggled. We went through maybe two more units, just kind of struggling. And then once we got to like the third unit after that halfway mark, it was coming to the point where they were asking not only some more complicated questions, but they're also, it's just m many, many steps that I felt were unnecessary for pre-algebra. And so there were a few questions in the past that I was like, oh, you know, we're not going to do this. Um, I don't know how to do it. I'm not going to look this up. I don't think you need to know this at this point. And so we were starting to skip things. And then the questions were just getting more and more complicated. I think more complicated than most pre-algebra students need. And I was thinking, well, we're gonna do algebra next year and it's not gonna be any more complicated than what we're doing here. So we kind of started struggling towards the end of this math program. So if we're looking at these activity pages or these note pages, we have, let's see, principles of algebra, rational numbers, introduction to graphs, functions, sequences, exponents and roots, proportionality and measurements. That's probably where we started struggling a bit. Percentages, I think we did okay on. 
Foundations of geometry, I think that's, we started struggling there. Perimeter, area, and volume. The questions were just getting complicated. And so that is actually where we ended up not finishing. We didn't finish that. And then, so we didn't get to the data and statistics and we didn't get to probability. And I happened to have a math program that I could use with her to finish off the school year and just get those units completed. So that's what we did at the end of the school year. We moved to this different math program just to finish off the school year. So like I said, I think if your child loves math and math comes easily to them, I think, think well, math could be a great math program for them. In general, I like how it's set up. I like the videos. I like the activity, like the worksheets. Other than the review days, which were kind of long, take that into consideration if you're plotting out your child's work. I did like it. However, this was definitely not a math program that worked for my daughter. And I think it's just because math is just not her favorite and she couldn't take some intuitive leaps that they wanted the student to be taking at this point. So that is how Thinkwell Math 8 went for us this year. Our pre-algebra program went this year. Thank you to Thinkwell Math for letting us try out this course. We did enjoy it, just wasn't a perfect fit for us. I hope this video is helpful to you if you're looking at Thinkwell Math and you want to know if it might be suitable for your child or not. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. I will be doing a lot more flip throughs and reviews throughout the summer months, as well as planning for the upcoming school year. I do have four kids who are going into sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth grade next year. So if you wanna see what we're doing with them, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified of when future videos come up. So thanks for coming today, and I hope to see you all in a future video. Bye everyone.